Hey, Cancer, this month, July, money grows and money flows. This is your astral tarot reading for the month of July. How are you doing, Cancer? Well, you're going to be doing so much better as this month wears on. But before I get to the planets, I got my four decks of tarot cards and a clarity deck. And I'm going to give you a message from each oracle. And let's just see what the first message is for you, Cancer. What is the first message for you? The first message is wisdom. Wisdom. You know, wisdom is really about experience. And wisdom is also about, you know, uh, getting advice and listening to, you know, the advice of others. And making deep decisions, deep thoughts, not being impetuous or, you know, making rash decisions. To make decisions out of what you feel is better for your future. Just don't go by, you know, what you feel at the moment. It is deep thinking, long range planning. And there's going to be some wisdom coming your way this month. Wisdom coming your way. Let's get a clarity card on what type of wisdom may be coming your way on what information might cause you to think differently about a situation. Well, the one thing is that wisdom is about some sort of inspirational project. What inspires you? What have you been either putting on the back burner or wanting to move forward? You're going to have a chance one way or the other to decide what do you do with your energy? What do you do with your energy, Cancer? I do know that on the second Neptune, the planet of creativity, the planet of creativity goes retrograde. And what can happen is that it gives you, allows you to see your intuitive gifts, your creative gifts more practically. How do I use what I got? You know, they, they got beautiful, beautiful. They got, there are a lot of people that can paint or draw or do creative things, but how do they get it out and, to, and make money off of it, make a living off of it? So Neptune is going to allow you to tap into whatever creative gifts you have or inspirational plans that you have and allow you to bring it forward and use them in practical, in practical ways, in practical ways. One more thing that's going to happen with Neptune is going to be in your house of adventure. What is it that you've been wanting to do but afraid to do? You know, is there something you've been wanting to do but afraid to do? Neptune is going to say, we are moving forward forward with practicality and we're going to we're going to stop getting stuck in our heads stop being stuck in our heads absolutely i have my second deck of tarot cards and let's see what the second message is for you cancer what is the second message for you that second message is door to romance okay now we're talking about some love we're talking about love now what's going on in your love life I don't know what is going on in your love life. I do know that on the 11th, Venus is going to be entering into your house of self-worth. And what is going to happen with that is that you may start choosing your love relationship, you know, more wisely. We're talking about wisdom this month. Your cards, your cards opened up with wisdom. You're going to have more wisdom in making love decisions. You know, if you're in a love relationship, what is going on there? Do you need to, you know, spice things up? Is it a quality relationship? Does it add to your life and not take away from your life? Does it allow you to grow? Is there growth? Are the two of you growing as a partnership? Or do you need to open a door to new love and look for another, another love relationship? That's going to happen around the 11th. Venus is going to be there stimulating all types of social connections with you and a new person or with you and a special someone and a special someone. But let's get back to money. Okay, let's talk about money. Listen, on the second, Mercury, the planet of thought and communication and discernment will be in your house of income. What does that mean? That means that money, finances are definitely on your mind. You start thinking about how can I make more money? What do I need to do to increase my income? How do I find another job? 
You're going to start talking about money. You may go to your boss about a raise or trying to figure out among your coworkers how they are making it happen. How are they making it work? It's about putting your mind into making your finances grow and flow. Making your finances grow and flow. I do know one more thing that on the 22nd, the sun also enters your house of income. This is guaranteed to be a promotion, a raise, an increase in your money, possible new job. You know, you may decide that you're going to start something on the side. One thing, you are not going to be sitting around, you know, not with your pockets empty. Mm -mm. You're going to be busy trying to figure out ways to make some more money, ways to make some more money. This is wonderful. And cancer, before I tell you what is happening your way on the new moon, because the new moon is fabulous, I'd like for you to like and subscribe my videos. Go ahead, click like and subscribe. So I can make more of them. And you can also go to KimAllen.com to schedule a personal reading. Schedule a personal reading, Cancer. So now, what, is the full, what does the new moon bring to you? Well, it's in your sun sign. The new moon is in your sun sign. What does that mean? It's going to send the urge, the inspiration to do something new. Try something new. Walk a new path. Choose a new direction. Stop what you are doing. Get out of your comfort zone. Try something new. Let's get a clarity card on what new thing you may try during the new moon, Cancer. What new thing might you try during the new moon? And the thing is, is that you're going to sit down and make some serious decisions for yourself. If there's some things you've been like, uh, you know, um, avoiding, avoidance. Something you've been deciding, avoiding. You know, you may decide that you may have to take somebody to court. You know, somebody has done something to you, you may have to take them to court. You know, is, a, is it child support? You know, is it uh, some kind of accident? You taking your landlord? To, what is it? You may decide to do, you may have a business partner. You may enter into some uh, challenges with your partnership. You know, so there's going to be some decision that you're going to make around the new moon that's going to allow you to do something different for your life. Something different for your life. I do know that there can be some kind of breakdown in a friendship around the 15th when Mars, the planet of war, butts heads with Uranus, the planet of breakdowns, breakthroughs, break it down, shake it up. There is a friendship, a friend relationship, a social circle that, you know, um, I don't know. It's not looking so good. You know, you may want to get rid of somebody or get rid of a few somebodies. Let them go. Cut them off. Mars, cut them off. You see, you see this, the sword. Cut it off. Change it up. Let free, Uranus is freedom. Free yourself from friendships or social obligations that are wearing you down and tearing you down. Wearing you down and tearing you down. Yes. And I got my third deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the third message is for you. Cancer, what is the third message for you? What is the third message for you, Cancer? The third message for you is serendipity, good luck. Well, my goodness. Serendipity means something happened. Serendipity is good luck. It's just serendipity. Timing. Timing. Opportunity. You see the four-leaf clover. Something fortunate happens. Well, something fortunate is definitely going to be happening around the 21st. Something fortunate is going to be happening around the 21st. And that is because Venus, the planet of money, attraction, and love, hooks up with Jupiter, the planet of good luck and opportunity. But it happens in your house of spirituality. What does this mean? Something that you've been praying for, asking your ancestors with help for, asking your angels for help for can manifest. Yes, it can manifest, it can manifest. Let's just get a clarity card on what manifestations, what lucky manifestations might be coming your way on the 21st cancer here we go a disappointment something that has disappointed you can turn around 
a disappoint what disappointment did you have? It can be turned around. Something just was it a love relationship? Did you did you did your 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 friend or your love lover's relationship leave you for somebody else? That can be turned around. Forget it. Something better is coming. Did you not get the job you wanted? Forget it. That can be turned around. Did you not get the home or the apartment that you wanted? Forget it. Something better is coming. Let's get a clarity card on what luckiness can come your way. Happiness. Let me just say another thing. Um, a no is also an answer. Just because you didn't get something doesn't mean that's bad. Look, it means you did it's something better coming. It wasn't worth worthy of you. It was beneath you. You thought you wanted it, but God got something better for you. There is going to be a blessing coming your way. Something that you've been praying for, hoping for, is going to come your way and bring some luck into your life. Bring some luck into your life. Cancer, this is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And let's just see what the fourth message is. Let's see what the fourth message is for you, Cancer. Let's see what the fourth message is for you. The fourth message is the moon. The moon is intuition. Some intuitive things are going to be coming. Listen now, on the 20th of Mars, we talked about Mars. Mars is the planet of the energy. It's going to be in your house of spirituality. What does that mean? Let me tell you something. Your enemies are going to be revealed. The moon, psychic energy, and war. Somebody that's been planning, um, you know, planning behind your back, working behind the scenes the, uh, to, to walk, you know, get in the way of your progress is going to be revealed. Keep an eye open after the 20th because Mars is going to reveal a hidden enemy to you. A hidden enemy is going to be revealed. And on the 7th, there's some better things happening, though. I don't know if it's better or not, because that full moon is going to hit your house of relationships. And what can that mean? You're going to get a secret, a secret about a loved one can come out. Secret about love can come out. Let's see what clarity. Full moons always bring out secrets. The information you need to know. Something has been hidden from you. What is, going to, what is the full moon going to bring out regarding love? Oh, Keep an eye on what's going on in your love life. They may not be. They may not be who they pretend to be. They can be jealous of you. You can you can date and be with people that are jealous of jealous of your career, jealous of who you are, jealous of what you have, jealous of your friends. They want to be you. Be careful. The full moon is going to bring secrets out about someone that you are intimately and emotionally involved with intimately and emotionally involved with and one more thing mercury the planet of thinking communicating and discernment is going to ooh, energize your house of communications people are gonna start telling you stuff they're gonna start telling you stuff they're gonna start informing you about stuff you know all kinds of stuff can come. gossip can come out you know, good time to figure out things when Mercury is in your third house, the house of communication and thinking. You're going to be brainstorming with friends. You're going to surround yourself with friends and have this come all kinds of lively and wonderful conversations. Lively and wonderful conversations, Cancer. Oh, yes. Let's get a clarity card on what Mercury might bring your way after the 25th. What Mercury might bring your way after the 25th. Here we go. Okay. You're going to find out about, you know, a, a group of friends. Because we had said something about friends. Change of friends. A group of friends. You've been feeling excluded. But somebody's going to tell you why. It may, it's not in your head. It's happening. Someone is going to inform you and tell you why. And this is going to be the information you need to free yourself and get rid of some bad friendships. And let's get one more clarity card. And that is, and it's going to be a blessing to realize who is your friend, who is not your friend. And let me do me a favor. Don't get mad at the messenger. Somebody may tell you something, you get angry and mad about it. Say, 
Don't worry, it's God's way of working. You wouldn't have known it had this person not brought it your way. Don't be mad at the person. They, they think they're being messy, but they ain't doing nothing but, be, but uh, fulfilling a blessing for you. So this is going to be a very busy month for you, especially financially. Your money is going to grow and flow cancer, yes. And if you like my videos, go ahead, like, and subscribe. And also contact me at KimAllen.com, KimAllen.com, to get a personal reading.